beautiful Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a different kind of reading. This one is a reconciliation reading. A lot of people have been asking if I could do a reconciliation spread uh, because I do tend to do a singles reading and a twin flame. So this is a reconciliation reading for those who are separated from someone who uh, they would like to get back in uh, connection with in terms of a relationship. So I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. Please be mindful, there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, first of all, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who is returning. Uh, I'm so grateful for all your likes, uh, subscribes, um, and um, all the comments in the boxes below. Also, I just want to remind you that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. And also, please be aware, scammers are about. Um, I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I do not take money, e-gifts, or donations for readings and uh, I'm, I do not do personal readings, okay? So let us get straight to your reading, my beautiful Leo. I'm going to get the overall energy for um, to see what is happening. The first card will be your energy, the second card will be their energy, and the third card will be uh, the united energy, and we'll see what's happening. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? Uh, those who want to reconcile with someone they are currently separated from, can you please guide them? What are they meant to see? What are they meant to know for their highest good? Can you please guide them? We have the judgment card. So you're hoping to return to this person. The judgment card is a card of second chances. Thank you so much. We got the temperance card and we've got the lover's card. Okay, so wonderful energy if you're wanting to reconnect with somebody. Um, it looks like your energy is the judgment card. You're weighing up a second chance whether you think it's wise to go into a union with them. You're trying to work out the journey ahead. Can you see the future with this person? Uh, knowing what you know has gone before, you may feel like there's moments of self-doubt on this journey with this person and you may have felt in some way rejected by their advances or uh, their uh, actions. You may also feel like you've had to block uh, some of their advances because there's a blockage here. Uh, perhaps you feel like there's trust issues or uh, something. Uh, the judgment card, I will clarify it with another card, but I feel like your protagonist energy is you would like another chance with this person, okay? Um, Now, I do feel like, Leo, there is a mature energy about you where you know what you need to do in order to make this union successful. But I feel like the person you're dealing with is quite chaotic in their energy. They may feel a little bit, um, they struggle with balance, okay? So that's what I'm getting there. But I'm just gonna pull a quick card on the judgment card for you. Um, this is kind of like a little bonus reading for everyone who's been asking, will they reunite with a, an ex? Uh, so I thought I'd do it because some people do want to reconnect with their ex. Of course, if you do not, then this is not your reading. Um, we've got the Five of Pentacles here. So you may have felt a little bit isolated or this person withdrew from you. You may have felt a little bit left out in the cold from this person. Either they just went silent or they stopped giving to the union in some way. Uh, you may have felt like uh, worried about the connection. Is it gonna make it? Is it make or break? The Five of Pentacles in the reverse position though is a positive energy. There's like uh, an energy here of wanting to move on, to forgive the past and to move forward um, and be united in this energy. So uh, the Five of Pentacles says you're hoping for a reconciliation. Uh, you don't want to feel alone anymore. Now, it doesn't mean that you are lonely uh, just because you're feeling alone. So I'm not getting that energy of loneliness. I feel like you're coming back to your center. You're loving yourself fully. But the Five of Pentacles says you're trying to be very hopeful about something. Um, that you can move on from any conflict or any of feelings of withdrawal in this relationship. Um, also, we've got the hangman in reverse, the ace of pentacles. We've got the nine of cups. Okay, so the hangman in reverse can indicate that perhaps this person has been uh, that you were dealing with was focusing on their own needs sometimes and being a little bit selfish in their energy uh, can also mean that you feel like uh, this is a missed opportunity if 
you were to sort of walk away from this union. Uh, you may feel like there's a lot of illusions that have gone on in this uh, relationship, um, but I feel like you're you recognize it's time to surrender to the union should you want to be together. Now, the unified energy is the lover's card. So, Leo, I feel like you and this person have a real stab at being together in the relationship um, and actually, uh, you know, having a balanced, loving one. I feel like there is a lot of love here. Um, the hangman, though, in the reverse can suggest that this person has kept you waiting uh, when it comes to going to those depths. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse there indicates that you're disappointed that either someone is not giving to this union. Um, I feel like I just feel like you've put a lot into this union, Leo, and it's almost like you're a little bit out of sync with this person in some way. Either they withdrew their investment in the relationship or uh, I feel like there's worry about it not being give and take, not being a balanced energy. Uh, we've got the Nine of Cups here. It's in the upright. So this is a wish fulfillment for you. You're hoping to reunite with this person. I mean, you don't need me to tell you this. Otherwise, you would not be listening to this reading, of course. But the Nine of Cups says you can have what you wish for. Okay. Uh, the, the Moon card says there needs to be, uh, someone needs to address their shadow side. Look at the shadow work that is necessary. Uh, also, there, um, I feel uh, there needs to be some voluntary changes in your relationship in order to move forward to uh, make it everything you wish for. But it has the potential to be a dream come true relationship. There is a potential here for you and this person to reunite with that judgment card um, and the, the lover's card, but there needs to be balance. There needs to be patience uh, in the union. The moon card also indicates an element of uncertainty uh, that you're feeling right now. Uh, but I feel trusting your intuition is key. It is so important, okay, before you uh, sort of rush into this relationship and want to be with this person. Now, of course, you're separated for a reason. So I feel like uh, it is, uh, there may be a couple of reasons. One is you may feel that like you have a mission to achieve in this lifetime. So the judgment card can be about your own personal progress, your own life's purpose. And spirit could be blocking this union um, just temporarily while you focus on your own needs. So really check in with your intuition and see if that you feel is a factor. Uh, but I do feel like this has the potential to be sort of re reformed is the word they're giving me, reformed. Um, and uh, changes are necessary to actually um, move forward. Now I do feel like, I'm going to pull another card because I do feel like there's some hidden, uh, something hidden here. So I want to see what that is. Thank you so much Spirit Guys. Can you show me? Oh. I just got to go get that card. Um, one moment, please. One, I'm just going to go. So, oh, we got the star card. Okay. So star card, something that is hidden is coming to light. So either this person is healing from some other um, situation that's personal to them or uh, you are. The star is a healing energy. So I feel like this person actually wants to heal the, the rift or the relationship too. And I feel like their emotions are going to come to the surface. They're really going through, um, you know, they're taking a look what life looks like without Leo and it's not very bright. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting with this energy. Uh, it's not very warm is uh, what I'm getting, but I do feel like there's clarity to come in this relationship. So let us move forward and see what the temperance card is bringing. This is their energy. Now I will do a Celtic cross and see what's happening there for you. But the temperance card says balance, this person is trying to remain balanced. They're trying to be patient in their world. Uh, they may be feeling a little bit chaotic or frustrated. This person, I just get an energy of frustration here in this position. Uh, I feel like this person is examining their priorities as what they want. Okay, I feel like they're weighing up their options here. Interesting, both of you have got weighing up options kind of cards. Okay, I feel like both of you are actually factoring in the other because there is love here. There is, there is deep love here. There is a very deep bond and connection here. Can you please clarify this temperance card? Now, the energy that we've got is Aries Scorpio and we've got Sagittarius and Gemini. Now, they can have strong placements in those areas. Doesn't mean it's a sun, moon or rising. It can mean that they have strong placements in those areas, just like you. Knight of Wands energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know regarding the temperance card? Four of Swords. How would you like to receive? The world. One more they asked for. So we got the Five of Swords. 
this person tends to sabotage they get in their own way i feel like they've met um someone they want to settle down with in you leo but there's an element of them wondering about um you know commitment okay we got the five we got the knight of wands here so knight of wands is someone who's very passionate they have a lot of um you know strong emotion for you this person is sort of magnetically charged towards you actually and it's not just about sex here um because i say that because we got the lover's card if the lover's card was not present i would say oh this person is someone who's in and out of your world here today gone tomorrow because the knight of wands tends to be really sort of free-spirited someone who's like oh this is really interesting oh but look at that thing over there that's really interesting too and they kind of like leave the moment once they're fulfilled with that moment um they've got but because we've got the four swords here this person four swords this person is in a solitary energy okay so i feel like you and this person you may have ideas that this person is like thinking about other people or uh you know attracted to other people the four swords says this person is actually recovering from the separation themselves okay this person is you know in a in solitude is resting is uh, i feel like this person is in a protective mode working out what they want trying to close down some cycles and some learn, learn some lessons i feel like this person is like even though they have the potential to sort of go out there and meet other people i feel like they're in a solitary energy and the world card says they're completing a cycle or they are um you know i feel like they're trying to work out where they feel satisfied and i do feel like you and this person have come circle i just feel like both of you are in sync here the five of swords this person is recognizing the lesson which is they tend to get in their own way um sabotage the union with overthinking i would say the five of swords there in the reverse position says uh that it's almost like you know when both people when two people argue and they're like screaming at each other and all of a sudden they've got nothing left to say and then there's that silence where you're kind of both looking at each other like well i think i made my point and then there's that silence it's almost like the fall after the storm i feel like this person male or female not a gender specific reading i feel like this person is in that mode where they're just processing what's happening okay that's what they're still processing it okay no matter how long it's going to take uh now this is not going to resonate for everyone leo but they just threw up a name right now and the name was antoine so if your name is antoine or the person you're dealing with is called antoine then there's something in this message for you it may not uh resonate with you it's not going to resonate with everyone doesn't mean it's not your reading just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered it could also mean that a person is talking to someone called Antoine and trying to work out their mind, you know, a friend or something like that. Doesn't mean they're cheating on you. Right now I'm not seeing that. Right now I'm seeing this person's got options, uh but I feel like they're trying to work things out with that five of swords. Okay? I'm going to go one more and see what this person's like trying to find peace, serenity. They're trying to find balance. Can you please clarify one more before we go to the lovers card? what do my beautiful leo need to see can you please guide them for their highest good the death card now they're stuck on you they cannot move forward um we got the herald herald of pentacles in the reverse they're not giving any offers to anybody at this time uh this person's stuck uh on you the death card says uh you know this person uh is feeling stagnation uh their hope was destroyed in the union uh so this person is feeling just as uh sorrowful i would say as you are it may not appear like that in terms of um if you're looking at their social media and if like that i feel like the knight of wands this person's got like an image or something uh that they may put out but behind it is the four swords so this person solitary really in deep thought this person's not really doing anything at this time uh with that death card definitely a stagnant energy herald of pentacles is the the knight of pentacles in the reverse uh suggests stubborn okay this person's not making any move either way they're just stubborn they're thinking things over and they're taking their time so some people will call that stubborn especially if you want them to reach out leo other people may say you know they're taking the time that they need to process what's going on there so i do feel like right now it's at a stalemate okay is what i'm getting uh let us move to the lovers card and see what's coming out on that for you so this is the unified energy this is how it's going to work out i mean the the lovers card used to be called the choice 
So I feel like there's no one else. I feel like it's uh, you or nobody, Leo, is what I'm getting with this card. Uh, the lover's card means that there is unification. Two people coming together to choose each other, to be in a high level commitment relationship, soulmate energy, one that will lead to a high level commitment. Um, and you know, you will deepen a commitment with this person. Uh, let me just clarify that energy because it is of course a choice card, Leo. So it does mean that you and this person get to choose whether you can find that balance and that patience with each other and whether love wins the day. We got the Queen of Wands. And we got the Ace of Cups. This person adores you. They are completely in love with you, Leo. This person is like, the Queen of Wands is Leo. It's Leo energy. Queen of Wands, this person, nobody else is attractive like you. Male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. But this person, you know, there's nobody better. This person, there's nobody else. They see nobody but Leo energy. They're always um, attracted to you. Uh, I mean, the Queen of Wands is the, the, the card that turns heads in the deck. That and the Empress card is a card of beauty or attractiveness or, you know, so I feel like aesthetically this person finds you like hot. Okay, let's put it like that. A um, lot of passion, but it's backed up by the Ace of Cups. It's not just about, as I said, you know, what's between the sheets. This person feels love. This person absolutely adores you. Uh, so I do feel uh, this person wants a high level commitment with you, perhaps marriage. Maybe that's what's got them spooked in a bit of a spin. Uh, we will go deeper and find out, but there is love here. This person has nothing but love for Leo. And also I feel like, I mean, you could be dealing with someone who's also got Leo placements or strong water in their chart, Aries, Pisces, uh, sorry, Aries, uh, here's Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces there with that water. Um, but I do feel like this person they found their match in you, Leo. Maybe that's the point. Maybe you and this person, you know, uh, you know, it's really passionate and it's 100%, you know, all in. And then you're both so alike that sometimes you clash. So perhaps that's what's going on there. Um, but anyway, yeah, this person, there's love. This person loves only you, okay? So let us move forward and see what's happening in the Celtic Cross to see what's the journey ahead for you and this person. Uh, what is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Leo? What is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Leo and this person? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much. First card here is Ten of Cups. You both want the same thing. You both want the same thing. Okay. Ten of Cups is the happy ever after. This is what you're both looking for. Let's see what the challenge position is. But there is a lot of abundance here. A lot of love. There's a depth. I mean, they're even showing. There could be plenty more fish in the sea, Leo. But this person... Ooh. What does that smell? So they're just giving me a smell of, it smells like, it smells like candy, chocolate. So I do someone's melting some chocolate or for me, immediately I thought of white chocolate. Okay. So either you're having specifically white chocolate. Remember like for, from kids, I used to, like when I was a child, I used to be given like, um, is it like a milky bar? Is that what it used to be called? The milky bar kid? Uh, it smells like that. So that I just got a smell all of a sudden. So if that's you having some white chocolate or maybe just candy in, in general chocolate but it smelled for me like it was white chocolate so uh, they're not showing me an image they're just giving me a passing smell was there is there again my oof, that's yummy anyway uh, I'll just leave it like that uh, so please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone of course um, but as you can see I think I was just mentioning that Plenty more fish in the sea, but this person wants you. And I do feel like no matter the love uh, options that come up for you also, Leo, I do feel like you'd rather have this person, especially since your, your starting card, your card there is the judgment card, which is you want a second chance with this person. I feel like they want the same with you, okay? So let us see what is the challenge. What is challenging this relationship? What is the challenge in this relationship? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? What is the challenge? Eight of Pentacles, okay? Now, I'm reading only the upright in this deck apart from the challenge positions. So the Eight of Pentacles, I mean, this is such a weird one to get as a challenge because both of you want to repair this, okay? Because the Eight of Pentacles is about repair work, but both of you need to work on yourselves. So perhaps Spirit is blocking this union at this time. Um, I feel like there could also be just a tinge of um, ambition. So either someone is really focused on their career and feels like they cannot do the two at the same time, they haven't got time for it. They're showing me, uh, they're showing me numbers now, 1551, 1551. So um, they've been doing that a lot the last couple of days. 
I'll have to check back over your reading and see if they gave you 1551 in your re in your last reading. Um, so please take it as it resonates. Maybe you're looking at the time right now and it's 1551 or that's the name of a uh, number of the building that you live at or your person's building. So please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like I'm going to have to pull a card because I feel like both of you actually, this is the card of repair. So, you know, it's about enjoying your own company, but also repairing things with a person. Um, also, I just get a little tinge, Leo, of uh, not just ambition, but I also feel someone, things need to be perfect. Now, no relationship is perfect. So if you feel like you're you're doing extra because you want the relationship to be perfect or they, you know, and you know when things, we hope things are perfect and then they just don't go the, our way, we get a little bit frustrated. So there could be an energy of that coming through. Let me just, can you please clarify for my beautiful Leo, what are they meant to see? Can you please guide them? Two of Wands. You, you and this person are so alike, so alike. Um, Two of Wands, I mean, you may be from different backgrounds, but there's an energy here of you two, you're just so alike. The Two of Wands says, it's almost like you're both waiting for uh, the other to come and repair this, or, and I mean, Leo, you may have been like, you know what, I, I went to this person, I tried, and Two of Wands, can you please clarify? Can you please clarify? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Three of Cups, no. Now, I feel like Three Cups is about friendships, okay? It's about celebration, and it's about, you know, uh, a circle of support. In this energy that I'm getting right now, I feel like um, there is, a, you know, like a circle of support. It's almost like two people talking to their friends about the other, and the friends saying, come on already, why don't you two just, like, sort it out? Um, you clearly want to be together. But there's just this stagnant energy. Now, Three Cups, some people can say it's a third party situation going on there. I'm not feeling that energy from this reading or this card rather, uh, but it could be that perhaps there is um, a third party influencing the situation. And by that, I mean a friend who's saying, you know, hold off, let them come to you or hold off, you know, you know, Maybe this isn't right for you at this moment in time. It could be a family member or something like that. So it could be someone who is giving advice to your person or giving advice to you. And uh, it just feels like it's at a stalemate. Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Also, I just get the Four of Swords here. Um, with the Three of Cups can suggest that either you feel like this person's got somebody else or they're seeing someone else. Uh, the Four of Swords says, that, again, that they're in a solitary energy um, and get ready for communication. There is communication coming through, but right now it's just at this stalemate phase where both of you want to repair, but perhaps both of you are feeling that the other's got somebody else or um, does not want this. Anyway, let us see what is below you and behind you. Both of you are very wounded. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Okay, um, and I'm just going to see what is above you, and we'll then move from there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Spirit Angels. we got the Eight of Swords. A lot of overthinking in this union, okay? Analysis paralysis. We've got double eights here. Um, so when you start to see number synchronicity, it means there's going to be radical change. Uh, but you've got to break out of the energy. Now, what is um, below you in this relationship? Nine of Wands. This person hurt you a lot, Leo. I feel like um, deep down... Very hurt people, okay? Um, nine of Wands tends to mean, even though it's painful, persistence, okay? So I feel like you will both wanting to, you're both wanting to move through this energy and try and sort of overcome things, but healthy boundaries are a must, okay? If you want to persist at this. Uh, I do feel like it can be rewarding, but know that it is a painful process. It's not gonna be uh, sort of worked out overnight. Yeah, two very hurt people here. I'm just going to pull a card. Uh, one is for you and one is for them. Can you please give me Leo's card first for my beautiful Leo? What are they meant to see about this Nine of Wands? What is this for Leo? Seven of Cups. Okay, you can see things uh, truly clearly. I feel like uh, seven, of, um, 
Seven of Cups here indicates that um, this person is the only person for you, you feel. You feel like there's no other options that would be interested, uh, would interest you. Also, you may feel like you don't, you're not the one with the commitment issues. You may feel like you're the one that wants to settle down. You are the one um, that has not rocked the boat on this. I feel like you're not confused, okay? You know who you want. Let me see your person. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know regarding this Nine of Wands and their person? Four of Cups. Yeah, Four of Cups is an interesting one. This person, um, they feel very unfulfilled with the situation, the way it's gone down. This person also feels fed up. They see you as a missed opportunity, but they're not really sure how to move through that energy. Now I'm not here to give anyone excuses or uh, you know to say, oh, they did that, you did this. Um, I'm not here to take sides. I'm trying to understand the energy so I can transmute the energy in the future as what is to come. The Four of Cups indicates that this person Hmm. There's a level here of apathy with this person. Uh, and by that, I mean, sometimes they don't know a good thing when they got it until they until it's gone. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. You know, it's almost like as soon as you've lost something, you realize, oh, S-H-I-T. I didn't do enough to keep that. Okay, that's what I'm getting here with that Four of Cups. Let me just see. Now, also, this person, I feel like... If they don't drink, I feel substance abuse with that card or some sort of, um, I, feel like they're, I feel like they're drinking. So if your person does not drink, then uh, it may be something else that they're using. But I do feel like this person's um, trying to numb the pain, trying to forget, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Will of Fortune. Uh, they feel really down on their luck. They feel out of control. Okay, this is why they're trying to grab onto some sort of uh, balance or harmony because they're feeling stuck in a rut. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse indicates this person feels misfortunate or chaotic or that they've been resistant to this relationship and it has brought them nothing but sadness, sorrow and uh, bad luck since they've been separated from you. That is what I'm getting from their energy. Um, Seven of Wands in the past indicates you and this person, you know, you've endured a lot in the relationship. I feel like you and this person have the potential to uh, go the distance. You can be unstoppable, but I feel both of you have had very difficult journeys in life. And I feel like your baggage or your wounding, your trauma from life could be ancestral trauma. It could be, uh, you know, um, whatever you've experienced in life, I feel like has made you stronger, but has also made you cautious because, um, and this is you and your person. Um, I'm going to pull a card each for each one, but the seven of wands indicates um, defense, defensive, okay? And I feel like both of you protect yourselves against each other. And uh, you know, as soon as one starts to get it under your skin, under the other skin or starts to go deeper and see the feelings, it's like shut down. They feel very, very vulnerable, but actually they're stronger than you think and uh, they're stronger than they think. I feel like you and this person are very guarded against each other, but I feel like it's because of your circumstances. Okay, as you can see, this person is etched with uh, tattoos um, of all the journey that they've been through so far, wearing love on their sleeve, being burnt, toxic relationships, perhaps uh, feeling unanchored in their feelings, uh, you know, that fight or flight mode. So I do feel like there's a lot of defensive energy that is being processed here. And both of you have the potential to break down those walls. Uh, but I feel like it's something that you need to leave in the past. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. This is um, my beautiful Leo's energy. How are they feeling about that Seven of Wands for them? Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. What are they meant to see? How would you like to receive? Thank you. Uh, we got the Herald of Wands and we got the Eight of Cups. Sometimes you feel like walking away from this because I feel like um, I feel like you're bored of the energy that come. You know, it's the same old thing, same old pattern. You may feel like this person is in it just for uh, the sort of chemistry that you've got. And you, 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 you wonder sometimes if it's deeper, does it go deeper? Because you feel emotionally a little bit um, unfulfilled with what's happening so far. So there are moments of you wanting to walk away and leave it all behind. But um, you know, I feel like you're going through a real journey of discovery with this and you're letting go of the, I feel, you, it's almost like you're letting go of the defenses in order to look at a deeper meaning. 
um, in this relationship to seek greater authenticity. You want to see beyond the superficial for this and you want to see how this person truly feels because right now I feel like you're a little bit unsure. Okay. How is this person, your person feeling about the seven of wands? How is your person? Ace of Pentacles. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. It prevents them from offering anything. The Devil card. They felt stuck. They are releasing themselves from that. Uh, the Devil card. Whatever is holding them back, they're releasing. They, they recognize that they're holding back. Okay? They recognize that they're uh, either their journey to this moment of being with you or whatever it is they're defensive about, they've been holding back. And the Devil card says they're releasing that energy. They're releasing... Um, it's almost like, they, yeah, they're releasing themselves up from any toxic situation or whatever it is that seems to keep this relationship stagnant. Now, whether it is fear, whether it is they've got other focuses, I feel like they're releasing their past. They're working through things. That's why the moon showed up, uh, because they're working through shadow side. Now, what is above you? This is a potential. The potential here is to have two people stuck in a rut, thinking that the other person's not interested Eight of Swords tends to be a self-imposed restriction. And as you can see, that cage is open. That figure can come out of that cage and they can take action. They can do something. They can fly. But right now, analysis paralysis is occurring. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card on each of that for you and this person because there is a potential here for you and this person to be stuck in your own thoughts. How's my beautiful Leo feeling about that Eight of Swords? Ten of Pentacles. You're hoping for a deeper commitment. You want deeper commitment, but you feel like you don't have it. So therefore, how would you like to receive? Um, and we got the Two of Pentacles. You're undecided as to whether this person is wanting to commit to you fully or not. Uh, you may also feel like this your person has someone else or is you know juggling you. Uh, I feel like you do have options, of course, but you want to commit to this person. Uh, you want a high-level commitment with this person, maybe even marriage. Uh, two of Pentacles there says... There's moments of feeling completely in, and then there's other moments where you're out, weighing up your options, okay? So how is um, Leo's person feeling about that Eight of Swords? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Eight of Cups. This person wants to return, okay? Interesting. You're feeling like you want to walk away from this with the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups in reverse uh, for your person says they, they want to learn from the past. They want to let go of the past, and they want to return to you. Okay, Eight of Cups, please look up the meaning of the, of the card. It means someone returns, fulfills. They understand, um, you know, that it is their responsibility to find their happiness within themselves and then offer it to another person rather than, you know, make you responsible for their happiness, Leo. That's not how it works. So this person wants to return to you, but they're feeling stuck. They're in their head about it, okay? Let me see why. Why are they in their head? If they want to return, what's holding them back? What is holding them back? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What is holding this person back? We got the Seven of Cups. Oh gosh, same cards, interesting. They're confused. Um, you know, they feel like they've got commitment issues here. Um, they may even feel like you've got options. Seven of Cups says this person's like still weighing up their options. They, they, they want to return to you, but then all of a sudden they talk themselves out of it or they uh, have commitment issues. What kind of commitment issues? Let's see what's going on there. Seven of Cups. That's not a good enough excuse. What's going on? The sun. I feel like they know that you are their happiness. The, this is a Leo card and it's the sun. So they're in pursuit of happiness. Can you please clarify further that seven of cups? How would you like to receive? We've got the temperance card. They, they're just trying to find balance within their own world. Because the temperance card is still coming up for this person. Okay, so... Let's go one more and then we move on because right now they're just saying that this person with a fortune, they just feel stuck in a rut. The same cards are coming up to uh, express this person's energy. Wheel of fortune, this person just feels stuck. They feel like they've got a whole set of options right now. So either they're trying to keep balance in their world. This person is very wishy-washy in and out. Okay, so I mean, be mindful, Leo. If 
Is this the sort of person that you want to reconnect to if they're in and out, in and out? If they don't know what they want, they shouldn't, you know, have that power over you to keep you dangling on a carrot string, you know, that sort of thing. So just be a little bit mindful. Use your intuition um, because we're getting this in and out swinging energy for this person, okay? You may be like, Bubba, tell me about it. I've experienced this for such a long time. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. What's in the near future for Leo and their person that they want to reconnect to? Wow, we got the Nine of Cups. They want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Thank you so much. Uh, we got, oh gosh, you two will be talking, okay? Uh, oh, one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Okay. Um, oh gosh, there's the Seven of Cups again. So, I mean, the Lover's card does mean choice. Uh, so you got options, but the Nine of Cups says, a wish is fulfilled. You're getting the Nine of Cups again. So again, thoughts become things. If that's what you're hoping for, you will get your achievement of desire. Um, you know, your, your card came up the Eight of Cups in the upright. You're walking away, and when people walk away to find a journey of discovery, so when, for example, Leo exits the building, and says, you know what, I'm not waiting for you anymore, then your person comes towards you because they're like, oh, I'm about to lose Leo. So they take action. So I feel like that's what's happening here, the Nine of Cups. I feel like the eight, people with Eight of Cups in the upright normally walk straight into the Nine of Cups, a wish fulfilled, okay? Uh, your person is coming up with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, so this person wants to return to you. So I do feel like you're withdrawing from this, even though deep down you may not have communicated that you're secretly hoping for you and this person to drop your barriers. I do feel like um, by you walking away, this person starts to take action. The Knight of Swords is action, okay? This is uh, your uh, someone... I don't feel like you're reaching out to this person. I'm going to pull a card on this, this Knight of Swords energy, because basically this means life-changing, okay? It means uh, swift changes are being made. Also, it means communication, truth coming towards you, um, and, you know, people trying to erase anything that prevents happiness. Uh, yeah, to, that prevents the happiness. So let me just pull a card for you and your person on this. Knight of Swords for my beautiful Leo. What does it mean to them and their energy? What does the Knight of Swords mean to their energy? Two of Wands. Waiting. Waiting. You're not taking action. You are waiting, okay, for this person to take action. What is um, my beautiful Leo's person's energy on this Knight of Wands? Whoa. Uh, Ten of Swords. Heartbroken. Um, you know, feels like really stuck in a rut, rock bottom. Uh, Queen of Swords. This person, they want another card, of course, but this person feels like either your silence or you waiting is unkind or may feel like um, they haven't talked to you. They're not, they hold out for a little while, but then they come towards you. Let me see. Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Herald of Pentacles. It's going to take a while, Leo, but they will reach out, is what I'm getting. Um, the Seven of Wands in the reverse indicates this person's going to still be like on hold for a little while. This person's going to feel like giving up before they come forward. Okay, uh, so I do feel like they will maintain their silence for a little while. And then it will be slow, but Herald of Pentacles, they will come on in and they will offer you uh, a conversation. They will definitely come towards you. Okay, but... It's going to be a little while, Leo. I got, I got a, the Herald of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the deck. So um, expect a little bit more analysis paralysis, but they will come through. Seven of Cups, though, this really bugs me with this energy because, you know, it's like push and pull, push and pull. So I'm just going to find out what this is for you and what it is for them because this is your general reading for your energy. Uh, so... How does my beautiful Leo feel about Seven of Cups? Three Cups in the reverse. Um, I feel like you think that this person's got options, that they're seeing someone else, and that you're, they're not supporting the union, okay? Uh, I don't think you could ever be a friend to this person. It's just too difficult. Uh, what is... Whoa. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, what does your person feel with the Seven of Cups? Um, so, we got the Hermit. This person is alone 
or feels alone in their energy, uh, they're doing a lot of thinking. This person's uh, trying to gain the truth of what they want. They're trying to gain that inner knowledge. They're trying to gain enlightenment. Okay, uh, we got the Four of Wands here. This person does want to reunite with you uh, because the Four of Wands can be a reunion card. And, you know, this person thought about settling down with you. Uh, this person thought about getting married to you. Halfway to marriage card, the Four of Wands. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles here, either they're stressing about money or uh, this person... They, do, they, they just don't want to settle it. They thought about it. They thought about settling down with you, but something's preventing them from settling down because the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is about someone who wants to build a home, uh, you know, sort of maybe have a family, but in the reverse, it's like they're not really sure if they want that. So their options are like they want, they want it, but then they don't know if they want it. It's just... Can you please clarify that Queen of Pentacles and then we'll move on? The Death card. I mean, we can never really change another person. They have to change, want to change by themselves. Of course, we can influence people's energies, um, you know. But the Death card says this person is transitioning. They're making changes within their world. Um, and they will want to rebirth this with you. Um, they will come out of that stuck energy. But right now, they're thinking things over. It's so interesting, isn't it, that these two cards are very similar, but they both mean very, very different things. I do feel like there is a wish fulfilled here. You and this person have the potential to come through and be together, but it's there's a lot of things to take into account. It's not going to be easy, this one, Leo, i got to say. Uh, I can't tell you something that's not there. I can only read you the energy that is there. Uh, now, <laughs> this is totally by the by. This is totally unrelated. I get images because I scry at the same time as I'm doing the reading. And right now, they're showing me someone using, you know, one of those, uh, what do they call them? You know, toaster, when you're making a toaster sandwich and there's two light little things and you put the bread in there and the cheese and the ham or whatever it is you want. I'm a veggie, so I, maybe you're making a cheese and ham. That's why I said ham. I haven't been, I haven't eaten meat in like 20 years, so I don't know why I said ham, but anyway. Um, and then you put it down. It's like a grill, a griller, a grill. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know what to call it. Maybe a, a, a breville or something like that. And you lock it together and it sort of toasts and melts the, the sandwich all together. So if you're using one of those as you're listening to this reading, there's something in this message for you. They just showed me the image of that. So I'm not sure why. So you're going to have to decode that one for yourself. Um, so either you're using it or uh, that's maybe your person's favorite food or something like that. I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's move on. The advice that each party is giving to themselves at this moment in time. I'm going to give two cards for this position. One is yours, that's yours, and the next one is your person's advice that they're giving to themselves in this moment. Okay, if they're giving themselves a lot more advice than you are. Uh, we got four of pentacles. You're looking for long-term security, okay? You wanna know that you're secure in this relationship. You're hoping to um, settle down with someone. Um, you're just building your finances, maybe building a solid structure, maybe you're even uh, saving to buy a home, but I do feel like you're trying to build security for yourself. What is your person thinking or doing? Five of Cups, they're processing the loss and thinking about you. Okay, this person is, um, you know, thinking about their advice to themselves is process the loss, see things from a different perspective, really think before you take a next move, really think before you act. That's what this person is doing. But I do think that they're thinking about you. Okay, you're thinking about security. Um, now, what is the external environment for you two? What is the external environment for you two? Wheel of Fortune, fate is going to intervene in this relationship. You're meant to be together. It is destiny. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune says this is destined. You were meant to take a break from each other for whatever reason. Uh, I'll pull a card right at the end and see what that was about. But the Wheel of Fortune is going to intervene in this relationship and turn things around. The luck in this relationship will change for the better. There is karma here, but perhaps you and this person had to work out your karma separately. Uh, what's most important about this card is the first cog is the heart. The heart wants what the heart wants and everything else will almost abide by it and be run by it. So I do feel like love wins the day here. So the external circumstances are fate is going to bring you back together. 
What's a hope and a fear for you, Leo? What is a hope and a fear for you? Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What is a hope and a fear for Leo? We got the Page of Cups. What is a hope and a fear for Leo's person? What is a hope and a fear for Leo's person? Okay, so Page of Cups. You're hoping for this person to perhaps offer an apology or come back come back on in and offer you, you know, pop out of nowhere. Pages, they tend to bring news. So you're hoping for a message from your person. You're hoping that they love you. You're hoping that even though there's been immature behavior, uh, that there's still love. So, uh, you know, this person may be a little bit younger than you as well. Um, but I feel like you, um, you would offer to help make this a better relationship if you truly knew that this person's heart was in it. OK, if they truly showed you that they wanted to take action and change uh, the dynamics or work through the sort of problems of the relationship. Uh, the fear here is that unrealistic expectations that this person was maybe a little bit immature uh, and also that if you would offer your love that they would not meet you halfway. OK, uh, the hope and fear of your person is this person really does want to offer to meet you halfway. It's so weird. This person, the Seven of Pentacles, this person recognizes that patience and hard work, this can be a successful union. They want to save things. The Seven of Pentacles says, can we save this? So I feel like this person fears that maybe you two cannot save it, that maybe it's gone too far, or that uh, this person may also feel like a high level commitment maybe is not as rewarding as one had hoped long down the line. I feel like either this person has gone through some sort of trauma when they were younger, uh, so I'm just going to quickly pull a card on that because I feel like this person is really working hard on a goal as well, a dream, maybe a financial success, and they just feel really unfulfilled. They keep, can you please clarify this seven of pentacles? Three of pentacles in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse. Yeah, this person has experience. I feel like either their, um, their guardians when they were younger or their parents, uh, there was a divorce there. Uh, I do feel like this person, uh, you know, came from quite a tumultuous uh, background um, and I'm not blaming anybody of course uh, you know we all have our own path and journey to uh, take but I feel like it's really affected this person uh, so I feel like the third party in the situation is that um, you know some of that uh, separation anxiety from when they were younger whether they saw people making bad choices or having regrets or, you know, about high level commitment. I feel like this person, it's rubbed off on them. So I feel like this person, their commitment issues may be stemming from childhood that uh, they saw two adults fighting or um, one cheating on the other or something like that, having a third party situation. Uh, they said from a very young age, I'm not going to get into that situation. I'm not going to get married or I'm not going to do that. So I feel like there's a tinge of that coming through with the lover's card in the reverse. Two people who broke up. So I feel like there was a breakup in their past that has really affected this union. Now this could be a breakup that was with them and another person before you met. And they may be wondering if they can really bring what you need to the relationship, Leo. Because there's, there's part of this card that's giving me an energy of them wondering if they have enough to offer you okay so um anyway let us see an outcome an outcome for my beautiful leo and this person can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to see this can be a successful union the egos need to be dropped both need to drop barriers and i don't mean ego in the negative sense i mean ego as in barriers that people build to protect themselves their sense of self ace of cups says th i mean this is an outcome you've got the lover's card, it is your choice. And the Ace of Cups here says, you and this person, you love each other. There is love. It, it has transformed you. You and this person have to recognize that you can both have a successful union, but you've got to talk. There needs to be communication. Six of Wands says, this person sees you that there's no one better. Okay. They recognize you as their person. Uh, and I feel like you and this person can have a happy uh, relationship, uh, but it needs to be worked on. Okay. Uh, it needs to be work here. Six of Wands, as you can see, um, the hummingbird is present, which means, you know, hummingbirds, if you think about their wings, they work super hard for, uh, you know, everything that they have in life because the wings are going a mile a minute all the time. And, you know, there's sweet reward. So they are suggesting that it's going to be work, but there's sweet reward at the end because you two love each other. Now, let me just clarify the Ace of Cups from your point of view. 
and the six of wands from your point of view thank you so much the death card in the reverse so you're stuck you're feeling a little bit it's all stagnant you're not so sure you're hoping but your hope has been destroyed you feel like maybe it's not going to happen let's see from their point of view this ace of cups you want those i think you do knight of pentacles the ten of cups so ten of cups means this person's emotionally unfulfilled uh, also, uh, this person, you know, they're broken about the separation. This person feels empty. Okay. Uh, and we got the Knight of Pentacles again, which means, as I said, the slowest moving Knight, they will come towards you to make an offer. So I feel like this person is not really dealing well with the fact that they're away from you, but they've got some things to process. They're not going to rush this. Okay. But you're feeling a little bit like your hope has been destroyed in this. You're feeling like it's not going to happen. So, uh, I'm just going to pull one more card. I'm going to call it a unity card, okay? Can you please clarify a unity card for me? The Empress. Beautiful. This person, I mean, there's nobody better. This person wants to settle. They do, deep down, see you as the person that they would want to be with. And Leo, I feel like, you know, it's about having healthy boundaries with this person and them also feeling like they're enough. Because the Empress card, basically a unity card I wanted to pull, is basically how is the other person... Um, you know, what is the problem that each person needs to recognize? You know, what is a common theme? And it is about knowing that you're enough. It is about, you know, creating a beautiful future together and all the fears and vulnerabilities that that throws up. It's also about neglecting our own needs and recognizing we need to put our own self first. I do feel like you and this person are brimming with potential and you could have anybody you wanted, but you want this person and they could have anyone they wanted, but they want you. Okay, so I do feel like you and this person can have a very committed, blossoming relationship, relationship that can lead to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonated in that reading for you. Um, I'm going to get some final cards before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? Anything further they need to know before we close the reading? Passion, romance, magnetic pull. As I said, this person feels magnetized by you. You and this person will be back towards each other. Your pull, push and pull thing, energy, it will eventually lead to just pull, okay? But there's a lot to be worked through before you get to that point. Uh, it's number two, so that is the high priestess. You have a psychic bond with this person. You both feel the same, okay? Um, now, I'm also gonna pull a final card before we close, thank you so much, okay. Um, and we've got Lynx, Keeper of Secrets. And it says here, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You can see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. So I really believe, Leo, that this is for you, that you do not need to um, chase after this person. I feel like let them come to you. They will reveal all. They will let you know, okay? Um, should you be wanting to connect to this person? Um, Keep your secrets. I mean, deep down, I feel like the secret is this person does see a future with you, but it's it's got them in fear, okay? False evidence appearing real. Uh, we tend to run away from things that we fear. So, um, I'm just going to get you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much, for guys, got angels. Okay. Okay, so we've got guardian angel here. So this is about your guides. They're with you at this time. You will be guided back towards this person. They want it straight on the Wheel of Fortune. I knew they would, but they, they absolutely, fate will provide a way back to each other. Okay, we've also got the butterfly. So there's a transition here. Uh, endings become new beginnings. Okay, there is change. Uh, so I do feel like you're releasing any old habits, shedding anything that is in the way in this relationship and you and this person have the potential to blossom. Uh, when, uh, if you think about the butterfly's journey, the cocoon, Nothing happens in that cocoon or that chrysalis. It is stagnant energy. It feels like nothing's happening, but actually that's where the major growth happens. So even when you feel nothing is happening, it's sort of stagnant with this person, stalemate, um, then there's still growth, okay? So I feel like there will be transformation here. They want on the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a victory card. It is good news coming, okay? It is about uh, everything that you were working hard towards will come to term. And also we got the dolphin. Remember to have fun. 
sometimes when we hurt each other, you know, we're really wounded, especially in that nine of wands energy. And it's very hard to open ourselves up to that person again, drop our boundaries, or even find something to be happy about, or, you know, find ways to get back to that joyful energy that we once experienced with a person. The, the dolphin spirit reminds you to have fun, but also to use your intuition because they've got that sonar, uh, you know, that they can see any red flags that sort of come up before they come into the danger zone, as it were. So I do feel like your intuition is important, but also having fun is important too, okay? Um, would you like this? They want it on the Eight of Swords. Maybe that's a sign. Remember not to overthink it, okay? Remember to, uh, in moments where you're feeling like you're stuck, come out of your comfort zone. Try and make things, you know, raise your vibrations or something uh, there. Again, easier said than done. I've been through a horrific breakup like many many years ago and you know it it completely broke me and to find any moments when we would come back together to try and talk you know it would feel like that heavy energy where you're like I just it's like you know being in an airplane where you're like I just want the energy to just fly high and be as happy as we once were and giggling and being like little children but sometimes that energy is like oh no it's just going down and down and down and down and you just can't do anything about it to pull that energy back up. I hope that analogy makes sense. But anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, I hope something resonates, my beautiful Leo. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. This is just a quick bonus read. It's probably not a quick one um, because someone said they would want a reconciliation read. So here it is. Thank you so much. Love and light.